Greetings, Earth Angelic Legion of the New Eden Manifestation. It is time to rise up and march to your own beat, dance to your own rhythm, and sing to your own tune, directly connected to source, fully activated, fully awake, fully aware, here, now. A lot of energies coming in throughout the day. The Schumann Church showed a lot of activity throughout the day. We had a 13 hertz spike this afternoon, 13 of the Divine Goddess. So with this Venus energy coming in, the healing energies, many things are coming through with the healing of the physical and the non-physical, which we'll speak of later after the transmission, talking about strengthening and healing the, the physical vessel, which some people may call biohacking, which is enhancing the biology so that our temple, our sacred vessel, operates at its highest resonance, its highest ability. I'll speak briefly on what many people are experiencing in these external manifestations, which are taking people out of the peace, out of the stillness, through these final transitions into the new earth. So when we say, Seek ye the kingdom of heaven within, 7337 coming in on earth as it is in heaven the external mirrors the internal so when we find the peace the bliss the joy the harmony within we magnify that externally so anything that's taking you out of that internal peace out of that internal heaven the balance the harmony the bliss is just a distraction a distraction from what a distraction from your mission, which is activating your full potential, which is manifesting and transmitting love and bliss and joy into this infinite field of energy, this field of light, this field of resonance. So the journey ultimately is within as we manifest externally. Also today in an altered state this afternoon, I entered a timeline, a dimension of emerald green. Everything was this pure, beautiful emerald green color, which is that heart chakra, the heart, the center, the center of the rainbow bridge. It is the ascended master Hilarion, Chohan of the fifth ray of healing, was coming in very strongly today. So you can think of this emerald green energy as you tap into your full heart potential, the fifth ray, the fifth dimension, 5D is manifesting, fully activating your full potential. It's also connected to the third eye chakra, the eye of vision, our visions for the future, our visions for the new earth manifesting now through this eternal now energy. You can tap into that energy anytime as you take a deep breath filling your body, filling the vessel with that emerald green light, transmitting that green flame, that green ray, out from your heart center. You could see it transmit out your third eye, connecting to all star seeds through the grids of Pachamama, Gaia, and the 5D, as we light up the rainbow bridge into eternity. Today's first transmission from Suzanne Amara, birthing plasma dragon light body and this is the image of the video today i thought it was very beautiful and activating i felt the dragon energies coming in the healing of the magentas the purples the pinks the blues and it also reminded me of one of the koi i used to raise japanese koi and i put this beautiful koi it was like a pink pinkish magenta color in my sister's pond she has a quarter acre pond in her backyard about 15 feet deep i put that in there maybe 12 15 years ago and it's like an angelic energy as she comes to the surface my sister calls her her little pink angel and it has very long angelic looking fins that she gently glides through the water and she comes up to the surface to greet you she's probably about three feet long with the fins and tail so this image connected me with that angelic energy and the dragons and the kois are connected in the asian philosophies so the birthing of the plasma dragon light body 
beyond the universal structure of geometry and linear modeling as a world of flowing light which appears as colored plasma, much like water, always moving, sometimes with curved and angular structures made of filaments and orbs, which I depict as lines and dots, often, but are multidimensional. The harmonic fields are song, waves of sound and vibration, which in surrender transcribe to creative color and form. I remember now I am open that these lights have been with me all of my life. I would often see orbs of colored lights and mist appearing in my room. Now I have met others with similar experiences. I remember my light body rising from my physical to play in these realms, meeting other light beings, which I am now re reuniting with on earth plane. I simply chose at some point to switch off the memory as my 3D experience was very energetically intense. This created a huge barrier around the perception like a monster pr to protect such delicate, pure love. It still came out in persistent doodling. When these lights and waves first came in again in adulthood almost three years ago, there were some around me who made it wrong and wanted to influence this beautiful gift opened by angelic avians. It took another two years before my hand could adequately translate and my spirit was empty enough as conduit. It is a journey which continues. The monster in the deep was my creation, my perception of my own fears and insecurity of being fluid, conscious spirit. Geometric interfacing is a layer of reality which informs most of what we experience in 3D and some higher frequency octaves. At higher octaves, geometries break down to fluidity and membrane and human sensory interpretation channels. For a long while, I wondered how could my sensory system be forming this? Was it right or wrong? When we have a safe, dependable system, mathematics and physics, to describe the physical universe, it is adopted as the worldview which sets species and planets down particular roads of development and technology. I was shown many different constructions, and at first in 2017, it seemed more like a fantasy film and came with so much clearing of human construct, it mostly got lost in the noise. It began with a journey with a dragon and Elohim consciousness, the deepest one on many levels assisted more recently with Arcturian guides. Many beautiful souls have helped birth this in. Most recently was the aha moment of monster as protector and loving this and bringing with it parts of my soul which were not birthed in. This is common in many lightworkers and schizoid types which exhibit highly intuitive and psychic sensory profiles but do not come fully into the body. This is the journey of plasmic light. It burns through layer upon layer of beliefs and constructs. In the face of the greatest challenges, I sought counsel and found others who experience and see this too. We are expanding into new states of being, and our expression of these states will move. Being flexible and open to multiple perspectives allows a softening of being. There is a space for mental programs and more logical constructs and fluid, non-linear felt sense balance and weave equilibrium the greatest adversity becomes initiation challenges soften from battle into experience acceptance and integration breakdown becomes break open i used to feel the universe was a fixed constructs science was my root mathematical laws and ratios mechanics and statistics geometry matter until the physical universe dissolved in front of me one day during a client session, and over the years many constructs and beliefs have been mirrored and played out. Life is beautiful. The dragon light body plasmic fields are us too. We are fluid. We are infinite consciousness in non-permanent identities, housed in material interface or body. All is possible in this theater of dreams. Where do you wish to play? Rise, oh rise, your magical wing, dear ones. Sing your colorful love into this world. Arms open wide, heart alight, eyes ablaze, breathe soft. Amara. And you can meditate on this image in the link in the description below is a link to the transcription of today's transmissions. And you can download a larger image and connect. There's a link to Suzanne Amara on Facebook underneath the title. And today from Laura Pleiadian, 
blue avian activation, fifth dimensional consciousness. This activation is of our love to you from many universes and parallel worlds. Our sacred geometry of light is descending upon you. It is an embodiment of love from the higher dimensions of frequency. You are aware you are in a body in a form on planet Earth. Be aware now that our love from other worlds is here now present with you as it always has been. The frequencies are now ready for this complete transmission and embodiment of the higher dimensions. As the light and love consciousness that embodies the creation, the stillness and observing aspects of the higher consciousness is opening wider, even through mass consciousness now as the light geometry is descending. Together, the body and the consciousness represent the many dimensions and parallel worlds. Higher dimensional aware consciousness is the frequency of light that transforms your body form. No longer does the frequency dimension of the body rule the consciousness. This is the full love aspect reaching through like the sun rising within you. You embody this observing aspect which has allowed this descending of this higher frequency to find its home. The carrier of this transmission is a sacred geometry light ship transcending time and space as you know it as 12D is the embodiment of all that is. The joining together of light families of varying soul frequencies is taking place now as it is time. The comfort of home within the body is through this embodiment of the higher dimensions while also inhabiting the form. The higher dimensions of this love embodiment now is the loving guide of the form. We are the light shining the geometries of design through many universes simultaneously. We are here, we have arrived, we are in union as we transmit this. The avians in form will now join. This is the frequency of purpose and union to which home has always resided. Your home in the higher dimensions comes to you now while in your body, through which your body will go through many changes. This is the plan for those on earth, written in the stars before their creation. We are the creation aspect transmitting to you now. We are love, we are here. All that is for you in the higher dimensions of your varying frequency purposes is descending to you now. The light is here, the light is now. Embrace all aspects of this light. Your body, your higher consciousness are varying dimensions that exist together in the same vehicle. The home you desire and long for is your frequency of love that exists in the higher dimensions. This is the exalted love that you long to be in union with. These are the higher aspects of the light frequency of you. They now live together the joining of dimensions. With the higher dimensional you, your exalted higher self leading away through your exalted divine heavenly love that has always been, that is eternal. We are with you and activate all this awareness that already exists in your blueprint of consciousness now. All now in the exalted divine eternal love that you know as home. From the new divine humanity .com. And today from the Archangelic Calendar, Assignment Success, Catching Up with Archangel Michael, Ground Team Victory is Taking It to the Skies. Today's date on the Archangelic Calendar is Infinity 0M7ANAA, Infinity dash infinity b one eight 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 nine eight infinity dash infinity b one t t infinity as gaia promised she has remained steadfast in a spirit dominant setting we also see the pure number appearing in the sunrise of archangel michael column which means we can expect michael to be extremely proactive as this is clearly the place he has asked us to meet him we are met with the opening of the ANAA gate, which is an ancient upgrade gate run by the very warm, loving, and auspicious energy known as Cyprus. Archangel Michael has been consistently three sunrises ahead of us, thwarting any timelines that were not in our best interest. He directed us to this place where he is traveling, and we have now caught up to him in divine essence and timing. Normally, when we reach a pure number in the sunrise of Michael Column, we get a detailed report from Michael. Considering we just moved an entire planet to a better timeline, one would expect it to be even more so. Instead, 
in typical Archangel Michael's style in lieu of a report he had did a dance and chuckled he does this when something good is, is about to happen and he doesn't want to ruin the surprise yesterday's assignment was a great success and atlantis and lemuria have been balanced as they are now steadily rising in synchronization this will help minimize extreme weather Weather anomalies are normally caused by the rise and fall of these land masses. We are hoping to avoid that with the preventative maintenance. Besides Archangel Michael's dance, we are most certainly feeling the success of this shift, and we have also caught many Mandela effects to further our confirmation as well, which I will report on in more detail in tomorrow's report. The ground team has dramatically won the battle of energy, and thus the battle has been taken to the skies and stars. I would venture to say the galactic forces on our side are as omnipotent as a galactic force could possibly be. This is exactly where we want organized darkness, facing galactic forces with no trickery. Energy is being sifted like a prospector sifts gold from mud as we have entered ourselves into what is being nicknamed the floating pause. This could last an instant or an eternity as time is not as receptive in this place. This is why we are seeing such a contrast in physical reactions. Those of the higher timelines are feeling incredible, and those not are not. One of the new races that we have recently encountered are called the Electric Elementals. As they are a collective with no direct name, they direct thought so well that it was not necessary for them to use names as forms of identification. They are extremely benevolent, a touch silly, and extremely likable. They are reaching out in friendship to all those with the ability to connect telepathically to do so. When we do this, we share knowledge and wisdom with each other in a beautiful dance of thought. Of all the amazing avatars that you have ever been, they have chosen you to come forth as the most pivotal time in Earth's history. Oh, how holy are thou, dearest one. I am asking you to fully digest this truth as there is no way you are here at this place and this time by accident. If that is not enough, you are fulfilling a prophecy with grace and ease. We, the Lightworker Legion, are clearly developing a working trust with each other and a good deal of the reason is that we are achieving levels of success that we never thought possible. The Lightworker Legion has become an extremely powerful force in a very short amount of time. You are a giant part of this success, and we must acknowledge your hard work and efforts. Again, in the link in the description below this video is the full transcription of this transmission and all the tools for today's assignment. Due to time constraints, I'm going to skip that and get right to the assignments, but you can read this full discourse in the link below in the description at primedisclosure.com every day's Transmission is transcribed and posted and archived on primedisclosure.com. So the assignments. For those not familiar, some portals can get you to the physical location of the universe where souls incarnate. Create stairways to heaven which can be created in many ways. The more variety of lights you use, the more appealing this portal becomes to lost souls. It is jokingly given names like the Deluxe Model or the Cadillac of Stairways. It is always good to put these in cemeteries and other places lost souls may be lost. Envision it exactly as it sounds, a colorful stairway to infinitely expanding creator source. Gaia has asked for cool blue plasma as it is designed to be an ointment for the friction she encountered during the shift. Please envision light blue cooling plasma in Gaia for 72 seconds. Proxima Centauri is a star in the Alpha Centauri binary star system. This star can be connected with for direct download purposes. Hold in your mind's eye the infinity symbol and connect heart to heart with the Proxima Centauri star and she will begin the optional upgrade. There's also a meditation in the link below to get to know your guardian angel and guardian dragons better. And it is a calming meditation with elements of joy. And this is from the Archangelic Calendar .wordpress com. And from Pars Kute, there's a continuous momentum with this pulsing wave of light consciousness emanating through our Earth's core. We are being drawn and reconfigured within this energetic pulsing flow into a pure web 
of our own source consciousness state. As the frequency builds and emerges more completely, we are being naturally realigned to aspects of our multidimensional, sacred, dimensional higher selves. We are multidimensional beings and the cells of our body are being proportioned back to aspects of realignment. The metamorphic process is happening now within us. This is a natural process that manifests first within our heart cells and then radiates throughout our systems to interact with our brain cells and brain synapses. These shifts are strongly impacting our nervous system as we are being moved and realigned through to this next transitional step. We are being reoriented to higher realm dimensional settings. This is an essential aspect of our rebirth. Many higher states of reality are being made re-accessible to us once more as we are returning ourselves to a place of knowing. Our hearts are at the center of this pure rebirth process. As we take individual moments to fully align, we make sure we bring all of our focus within our hearts. As we choose to take this action of reconnection to our hearts, monumental shifts will take place within our lives. Each time we choose to claim our hearts and bring all of our awareness within our hearts, transformation can take place within our entire system. A quickening begins to take effect as we choose moments to take this action of conscious reconnection. We are consciously claiming our own multidimensionality. This conscious actions by us are what will make the difference in our ability to accelerate our integration and realignments to the higher reality states. Our hearts are the central place for us to access everything we need in our world. Our hearts are the central place for us in this universe. Through our hearts we can reaccess the higher realms. With sacred love of oneness from Pars Kute, today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 237, Red Electric Earth, there's the 37 energy, and the mirror of the 37 and the 73, heaven manifesting on earth. Electric is the name for the number three, and its keywords are activate, service, and bond. The third day of a wave spell activates the energy and really gives things a boost. These days are great for getting things done, but are seldom relaxing. Use this electric energy to your advantage, or beware of getting a shock. Today is Red Earth, which represents evolution, synchronicity, and navigation. We are all evolving all the time, although it can be indiscernible as it happens slowly, unconsciously, and subtly. As we grow older, it's easy to look back and see how we have grown up, softened, and matured. But while we go through the process, it's hard to see. You are a work in progress. Today also has been great potential for synchronicity. Be in the right place at the right time, and you will get what you need to evolve. Red Earth is like a signpost pointing the way to go, which is great if you have a feeling of being a little lost lately. And from Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Electric Earth, Kin 237, 6 March 2020, Navigating a New Path of Service. 632020 equals 634 equal 13 equal 4. 6 Heaven, Christ, Harmony, Romance. 13 Goddess, Cosmic, Mysticism, Natural Lore. 4 Foundation, Form, Angelic Earth. Kin 237 equal 12 equal 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity. Continuing to build our heavenly new foundation of peace. A highly charged day to rocket fuel your divine service. Day 3 in the Blue Eagle Wave Spell where we are being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture so that we can create it. Envisioning the highest timeline for ourselves and our planet. As our 2020 visionary powers and third eye is awakened and activated. Wake up. Today we are navigating our way through the signs in order to birth our true soul's higher path of service to Gaia and humanity. Tone of creation, today's tone is electric. This is another incredible divine gift from our creator as we have an incredible surge of power to kickstart and drive our divine missions. Electric is tone number three in the tone of creation. It is the first of three emotional realm tones. Thus there is a very strong emotional charge today which may create outbursts in those who need to find their balance. Electric energy creates a short fuse, particularly in those souls that are confused or not focused on their divine missions. Through focus, these strong energies can be creatively utilized. 
rather than being destructive or chaotic. This energy can be better harvested through higher aspects of this tone, which encompass being of service to others through the action of bonding, that is coming together with others to co-create and be of service. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation. It is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing, transmitting energy. It also adds power to anything you are birthing today, an extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature, expand your focus from bonding with one to the joy of bonding with all. Together with your divine counterpart, offer your united services and energies to be of divine service to humanity. Note, electric energy has a very high emotional charge, so make sure you ground this energy. Otherwise, it can build up stressing your nervous system and result in emotional flare-ups and arguments. Today, you should contemplate how you can activate your electrical power to send waves of pure charged energy to uplift and awaken others through your acts of divine service. What signs are you noticing and acknowledging today as the amazing synchronicities unfold on your path? Follow the signs. Today's question is, what are the signs guiding me to birth in order to fulfill my highest vision for my soul's evolution on this planet? Divine blessings on your magical nature walk today. Follow the signs. In La Quec a la Quine, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 237, red, electric earth. The mantra, the code for today is, I activate in order to evolve. Bonding synchronicity, I seal the matrix of navigation. With the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of birth. And there we have it, beloved beings of light. Let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, what you're seeing. Any ascension energies coming in, your visions of the new earth, what's shining through the veils. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below this video and the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future uploads. I'd like to finish today's transmission with a little bit of information with so many questions coming through about the body's ability to heal things we can do to help this sacred vessel, the temple, our form, our body, through these shifts and through these energy upgrades and updates, especially when it comes to the strength of our immunity. I'd like to guide you to an article I wrote about four years ago in 2016, 10 Ways to Boost Your Immunity Naturally. Now, these are things I do, most of them, on a daily basis. Now you can go to primedisclosure.com and scroll down the right. You'll see a little pink banner that says 10 ways to boost your immunity. And all these things that I posted in this article are ways that you can help your physical form to enhance its ability to heal, enhance its ability to thrive. And with this electric energy coming in today and my connection to Nikola Tesla and these Venusian energies, I do plan on reading the book in the near future, in the next couple of weeks, uh, Return of the Dove, about uh, Venus, the Venusians, uh, Nikola Tesla. So with this blue energy coming in, this blue plasma, Archangel Michael energy, what's coming through is a way to acknowledge and activate your body's full potential. Many people are calling this biohacking. It's just ways, techniques, tools, things you can do to enhance your physical body so it can perform at its highest, highest resonance, at its highest frequency. And all of these things are assisting the evolutionary leap we're going through from Homo sapien to Homo luminous, which is the light body, which is the crystalline 13 strand coded DNA, the code of 144. So we can do many things to assist this. One thing I'd like to explain 
as far as enhancing your body's natural immunity, your natural ability to heal, your autonomic nervous system. Of course, one of the most powerful tools we have in our arsenal. And I'm going to do a, a video all about this. So I'm going to try to keep this short, short and sweet here. So, so you can read the article that gives many tips. And at the bottom of the article is a book, a link that is out of print called Take Back Your Power. And this is a system that you can use by Robert C. Beck. And it was from 1999. These are techniques and tools, many of them that I use to enhance my physical form, my physical ability. And what's coming through with the these energies and the frequencies, especially with Nikola Tesla, he was a proponent of using ozone. Ozone is O3 three atoms of oxygen. Ozone is a gas, and it's known as a, a pale blue gas. So with that blue energy, and this is called a trioxygen, because it's three atoms of oxygen in the molecule of this gas, and it can be used. They've been using, scientists have been using ozone for many years to for purifying, for purifying the air, for purifying water for cleansing. This is many used, used in many therapies. You can research this. In the article, 10 Ways to Boost Your Immunity, one of them is about using ozone. You'll see it's in the bonus section, ozone water, and there's a link. You can purchase an ozone generator. Now, Tesla had the patent on the first ozone generator. And what it does, you can put it in water, we would put ice in water. And these are many of the systems and tools that we would use at our healing retreat center, one of many. So you put, we would put ice in water and a tube from the ozone generator and it would bubble in the water. And what would happen is, as you know, water, H2O, which is two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. When you transfer the ozone, into the water, one of the oxygen from the ozone, one of the atoms would bond with one of the atoms of the oxygen and water, converting it from H2O to H2O2, and then you would drink the water. And H2O2 is what we call hydrogen peroxide. And as many people know, hydrogen peroxide eliminates what we call bad bacteria. Now there's a book called The pH Miracle, and this doctor would help, a naturopath would help people. And the advice I give in this video, I, you know, I always have to speak that it's not to replace that of a medical professional. These theories and concepts and practices are for educational purposes and for experimentation. And if you have a medical issue, to seek out a licensed health practitioner. Now, these are things we have to say to prevent any problems with the medical associations of the world. And you always use your own discretion in anything and do your due diligence and research in these things. But we know, based on research, that the, these pathogens in the body, mostly viruses and bacteria, our immunity system is one of the most powerful systems in this realm, if utilized and used to its highest potential. So I've been researching and teaching healing practices and health and wellness modalities for about 25 to 30 years. So these are some of the things that I teach and that I've come to understand through the amazing processes of this physical form. And we know within the physical body, there's many living organisms, such as viruses, bacteria. There's good and bad bacteria. There are living funguses and yeasts, such as candida. And we know that these organisms feed mainly on sugars, and the waste product from these organisms cause the body and the blood to be acidic. And we know that these viruses, and they've, many of these things have been linked to many diseases and cancers, that they cannot thrive in an oxygen-rich environment. So there's many different ways to bring more oxygen in the body, and the oxygen will help through this transformation of the DNA. But some of the things you can do or if you do research on hyperbaric chambers, people use that for an illness called the bends when they're scuba diving. If they rise quicker than the bubbles, nitrogen bubbles 
manifest in the bloodstream and can kill a person so they put them in a hyperbaric chamber and it forces oxygen into the bloodstream and breaks up those bubbles but it's good for many different things you can research hyperbaric chambers the ozone generator where you don't want to breathe it in but you want to you can start experimenting with putting the ozone do research on ozone generators uh, nikola tesla's research which i'll be putting out videos in the near future more on this as it's coming into my awareness and also taking deep slow breaths slow deep breaths in and out the nose filling your body with more oxygen we call that longevity practices in the Taoist arts and in qigong slow gentle deep breaths filling the body with that sacred chi chi is the energy also, you can look into Royal Rife, R-I-F-E. He would use sound frequencies. There's videos of him dissolving things like viruses, viruses, bacteria, funguses, things like that, by matching their frequency using sound resonance tools. And also healing with light. There's many, there's a book, Light Medicine of the Future, which I'll post in the link below. And that was written by a Ph.D., Jacob Lieberman, Light Medicine of the Future, and many people are using these cold lasers, obviously not the hot ones that burn the skin, but there's red lasers that you can place on acupuncture points, and people are having good results with that, and uh, the, with the blue light, working with this blue energy, but all colors of the electromagnetic spectrum have some kind of healing effect, there are different resonances, there are different frequencies, along with sound resonance, and sound frequencies, these can enhance any healing modality. So we'll do more videos on things you can do to enhance your physical body and to boost your immunity and to raise your levels of energy in the near future. But that's all for now on this subject. And the thing is, you also want to check out the pH miracle. It is about making your body more alkaline than acidic. And we help the alkalinity by things such as cutting out processed foods especially processed sugars lowering the intake of carbohydrates eating more whole foods superfoods supplementation and also nikola tesla worked with the ozone and magnesium combining the magnesium and then citrus fruits for the vitamin c so this is a combination that's very powerful so if you want to research ozonated water with magnesium i believe he called it homozone it's an element which you can look that up look up h-o-m-o h-o-m-o-z-o-n homozone it's a cleanser detoxifier but just know that you are powerful beyond anything that can be thrown at you when you tap into your the full resources and the full power of your body, mind, and spirit together in harmony, peace, love, and balance. We are unstoppable. So have a beautiful and blessed day, beloved beings of light. I love you all. Namaste.